Hello, everybody. Howdy. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well. Does everybody like the music? <clears throat> yeah, tonight's music choice is... Um, <clears throat> it's Doom 64's menu music. And honestly, I was going to be like, you know what? I'm going to mute the output audio just for, like, the intro and everything. Just, like, on the chatting screen and, like, the waiting room screen and all that. But I was like, you know what? <clears throat> you know what? This fits the theme a little bit. So, you know what? Let's get a little creepy. I, I thought we should get a little creepy today. Uh, Crispy Outlaw 76. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> so, as you can tell by the... Did I change the fucking... Okay, I did. I always worry. That's like the one thing I always worry about is that I'm going to like forget to change the title on the stream. Because sometimes it happens. It just happens sometimes. <clears throat> so, we're going to be playing Doom 64 today continuing our doom quest to play through all like the mainline doom games and everything so we've already played through doom 1 and we've done doom 2 and then we played uh do we've done like both final doom campaigns so that's evolution and plutonia so those are the four mainline ones that are like kind of like the classic quadrilogy there <laughs> like doom 1 doom 2 and then doom 3 not Doom 3, Final Doom, are like the classic Doom quadrilogy. They're, in, they're built on the classic Doom engine and everything. Uh, Doom 64 <clears throat> functions like classic Doom. But it's kind of... It, it runs on a different engine. It's made by... I think Midway Games made it. <clears throat> and then ID published it. I think that's how it works. And Doom 64, despite the name, is actually... A unique game to Doom. It's not just a port to Doom of Doom One on the Doom on the on the Doom 64. Yes, on the Nintendo 64. It's like its own actual game. It's like its own actual game. It's got a unique story and everything. And I think while Final Doom's canonicity is up in the air a bit, I think Doom 64's canon is actually um, I think Doom 64 is actually considered canon to like the overall story i i want to say like the new expansion they made a few years ago for doom 64 ties into doom 2016 and doom eternal i want to say they both they all tie together because i know doom eternal like really connects a lot of like the dots between classic doom and newer doom and i think doom 2016 kind of started that trend so i want to say doom 64 is considered canon uh, and then Final Doom is kind of, I've been told, I think someone told me, who was it in chat that told me? I want to say it was Mina. I think Mina told me that the Final Doom campaigns take place in a different universe, or at least they have like a different protagonist. I don't know. I don't know. Once you get into Doom canon, it gets a little confusing because then it's like, well, then where does Doom 3 fit in on the timeline? Because Doom 3 really doesn't fit into, like, the main timeline at all. Like, Doom 3 is just kind of its own thing. Doom 3 was just ultimately, like... It played so much differently compared to all the other Doom games. I mean, yeah, Doom 64 has a lot of the horror elements, too. I mean, you can literally hear the music going on in the background right now. But I think with Doom 3... Doom 3 was really the first one that made it, like, an actual, like, survival horror kind of game... And I mean, Doom always has had horror elements to it. It's a shooter game with, like, some elements of, like, horror thrown in. But I wouldn't say, like, you're supposed to feel scared playing Doom. I think you're supposed to feel powerful. Because, I mean, you're overcoming enemies, like, that are reasonably, let's be honest, shouldn't be within human limits to actually, like, overcome. You know what I mean? Like, they're demons. They're, like, infinitely more powerful than us, probably. But we can overcome them. But Doom Guy can overcome them easily, and so can the player. So that's just kind of, like, what I think. Doom 64 is like that. It just adds in some of the, um, creepier elements to it. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and let's get to the game screen, since the ad break is over. And we're gonna start a new game. Is that loud? It's a little loud. Let me turn it down a little bit. <clears throat> Be gentle, bring it on, I own Doom. I think I own Doom is the hard difficulty, so we're gonna we're gonna do that one. 
Okay. It's just gonna drop us right in the middle of the action here. Can I save? Okay, yeah, this is how I save. All right. Perfect. Okay. I love, honestly, like, even, I know, like, oh. Like, I know the ambience of this game is so much different, but honestly, like, I love it. I got, I got an achievement, discovered a secret area, nice. I love the ambience, it reminds me a lot of Quake. Like, you know, like, like, you know, like how Quake had, like, the, uh, Nine Inch Nails soundtrack? Like, that, that's kind of how I view this. It's like that. Is the game still too loud? I think it is. It might be too quiet now. <laughs> okay, you know what? No, I think it's good, actually. Yeah, it's good. Now, I have beaten this as well, and I will say, we are going to be going for, like, um, the, oh man, what are they called? The, I think they're called the Demon Keys for, because later, I'm not going to spoil it, but you're, because you're going to see why. You're going to see why you need the Demon Keys, because trust me, you're going to need them. You're going to need them later. Without them, this game becomes, like, ten times more difficult. I think that... No, it did not open that. I actually found the secret, yeah. Then again, I know a lot of the secrets. I know where a lot of the secrets are, because I've played this. I've beaten this a few, a couple times. I don't remember what the switch does, actually. Oh, yeah, it, op it opens that up. Yeah, okay. Yes. I know what that's for. That's for a secret level. So there's a secret level in this um, level that you can access by destroying all these barrels. The thing is, though, that level is very, very very difficult and honestly a little unnecessary so i'm not gonna fuck with it this time around okay got all those guys i think the game is a little loud still i don't know Like, most of the time, it doesn't seem like it's too loud, but then every once in a while, it looks like the, um, like the audio, the audio bar spikes, it looks like, almost. Did I just hear something? There he is. Soul Sphere. Okay, I think that should be perfect now. I don't think we should be having any more issues with it. I think it's the enemy pickup sounds that are kind of overwhelming it a little bit. But let me know if it's too loud at all. Alright, yeah, we're not going to fuck with this secret level. The secret level in this level. Alright, got 100% of the kills, but only 50% of the secrets. Alright, entering the Terraformer. Alright, let's save real quick. Overwrite that.
all those guys. But the other secret levels have the demon keys in them. And we're gonna go for those. But since it's been a long time since I actually like played this, I have I have a walkthrough up for how to get to those. Yeah, I remember that part. <laughs> well, that's gonna take some time to get used to. I have to get used to like using like the using like the number keys to actually switch weapons. Oh yeah, I remember this part. Okay, how do we... Like, I remember what this part is, but I don't really remember how to do it necessarily. I'm gonna turn the game down just a little bit more. <laughs> okay, how do we open those? Oh, here we go. So we got the blue key now. We can go through that way. I'm gonna go through here first. Ooh, light, light amplification goggles. Oh, I can't go this way yet. Oh, there's a berserk pack. Nice. God! God! Damn! Did you guys fucking see that? Dude, these imps are fucking thick! Holy shit! I wasn't expecting that. Hold up, I think there... Yeah, I think there's a secret down here. Yep, I remember this part. No, it's not a secret, it's just the red key. Oh, that hurt. No, seriously, I was not expecting the fucking... I was not expecting the M's to be that thick, like, holy fuck. Like, the M just turn around, I just see, like, ass. I'm like, holy fuck. They had no right making the demons that thick, like, my god. Oh, what was that? Oh, shit. Hang on, hold up. One second. My VTube Studio crashed. What the? Bro, hold up. Okay. Alright, give me a moment here. Yeah, my VTube Studio... What the hell? It can't be like... It can't be like fucking Doom 64 causing it to crash, right? Because it's fucking Doom 64. Or is Doom 64 like just that fucking like big of a game like what the fuck this is a rubbish port of it to be honest performance wise i mean hello bent bent bob hello yeah honestly it's my only experience with doom 64 but i mean like 
to be fair, I think unless I wanted to like either. Honestly, I would love to have this game on a 64. Doom EX runs like 200 times faster than this official release. Mm, I see. Doom EX. Why does that sound familiar? Okay. Let's back up. Put my hat back on. Let me readjust here. Alright. That should be good. It's the first accurate PC port, Doom 64 from 2008. Okay. I think that's why I probably remember it then. I... That sounds familiar. I might have heard of it before. I think part of the problem, too, is, like, I usually, like, record my streams through OBS. So that can leave... I don't know why, but for some reason, like, I have issues on and off with that. So I think I'm just going to leave... I think I'm just going to leave the recording off this time. And then I'm just going to, like, download the stream off Twitch later. And hopefully that won't cause too many issues. <laughs> That might help improve the performance a little bit, too. Okay. Well. Um. Did the game just crash? I think the game just crashed. What the hell? I think it did. Yeah, it's not responding. Oh, shit. Alright, I guess let's close the game then. Oh, no. Oh, shit. That's not good. All right, let me try reopening it real quick. I played Bethesda. I mean, I guess they are responsible for this port. Although, to be fair, the Unity the Unity port for um the OG Doom, in my opinion at least, isn't too bad. Like, I like the Unity ports. They're all right. But yeah, this game's giving me it. This, this port's giving me issues, though. All right, it's up. Here, I think something else might help too. Where's the video? Yeah, it's rendering through OpenGL. I mean, this might help a little bit by just. Hmm. Does that fix anything? Oh no, I guess we'll see. Hmm. It's worth a shot. Oh, okay, we gotta restart the level. That's fine. That's alright, I know my way around this place. Brutal Doom 64 is my favorite version, though. Oh, so there is a brutal version of this. Okay. You know, what's funny is I was actually wondering about that. There was actually, like, a brutal version of this. I was thinking about that before stream. I was like, man, what if they made a brutal version of this? So much better, too, huh? Okay. Fucking bitch. I might look into that. I also know there's a port of this that runs in GZ Doom as well. Just gotta go all the way around before the doors open. I think it kind of got chased around here.
Yeah, there we go. And then imp spawn in. Okay. Let me save real quick. Yep. Here to refer to you 64C, which does use this game's official iWatch 64 file. Oh, really? Okay. And I have to go through here to get the red key. I did not time that right at all. I'm going to go out here and get these. There's this door right here. I don't know what that does. All right, let's save again real quick. Uh, do yeah, I'll take that preserve. I'll take it. I think switching out of OpenGL helped quite a bit too. I haven't noticed like it's, I don't think it's really having, I haven't seen it have, cause before I noticed it was kind of bugging out a little bit, but doesn't seem like it is now. So I think we actually, I think switching away from OpenGL helped a little bit. What we're using before I'm um, in the correct in the video setting I think I had it set to open GL 3.2 or something but now it's going through Vulcan I think I'll, and it doesn't seem like it's having any issues now I don't know though it could also be because like I was like recording earlier and now I've turned the recording off and I'll just like probably just download the stream later Stick with stand. Okay, I see. All right. Keck prefers Vulcan. I got it. Okay. So this port runs better with the Vulcan. All right, gotcha. I must have picked up the uh, ammo pack somewhere because I can pick up more shotgun shells now. Alright, now that we got that key, let's go ahead and save again real quick. Just in case the game decides it wants to crash again. Ah, okay, that's what that door does. It's been a while since I played this. you remember all the secret exits? I remember most of them. I know the one from the first level. And I know how to access the one in the fourth level. But 
I think I have to like. I'll, I'll, I'll probably have to look up like the, the code for that one, because there's a there's a code you have to answer on that one. I don't remember it. Three one two is three one two four. Okay. Damn, damn, not bad yet. <laughs> um, hello, Edwin, Edwin Mamian, hello. I think we're drawing by tonight. Yes, we're good. Oh. Well, we can at least get some ammo down there. <clears throat> Oh, yes, the fucking Kako demons. It looks so fucking weird in this game. Honestly, that's like one thing I really, that's one thing I will say I don't really like too much about the, about Doom 64 is how the uh, Cackle Demons look. I just think it's, it's not that it looks like terrible, it's just that it looks like too much of a deviation, you know? Because I remember when I first played this and I saw them, I'm like, is that a pain elemental? Like, what is that supposed to be? My house mod. Oh my god, yeah, I played that um last year on my birthday. I remember that. I played I actually streamed it last year on my birthday too. Uh and I was drinking the whole time. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was No, I didn't get the full ending. I think I I don't remember quite how far I got. I don't remember how far I got. I played a few Doom Wads that night, and that was one of them that was on my radar. So it was like one of the many I played. So I don't quite remember how far I got with it. Oh, I don't want to use that. Worst ending is you burn the house down, and when you leave, the house disappears. I think I got that ending. I think that's what happened. I think that was the ending I got. <laughs> there we are. Because I think I remember that happening. Later, but I'll tell you you play well though I saw a little bit oh thank you I appreciate it never touch the electrical box behind the bookcase they always, always gives you the bad ending oh okay I see no I actually did I actually hang on I'm thinking I'm thinking now I feel like there was more than that than I remember. 
I don't think that was the only ending I got. Because I remember there was one part. It was like a big concrete area. It reminded me a lot of like <clears throat> some of that backrooms imagery. Like the old like one of those old backrooms photos. There's a water part in a mirror would in a mirror world part two in the shell garage. Shell garage. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, I'm probably supposed to go back, aren't I? Yeah, because that's this is where the keys keep appearing at. Um, Brutalist area is the concrete area inspired by that liminal airport hotel in London. Oh yeah, that's a hotel, isn't it? I forgot about that. Holding area. Okay, I think this is... Yeah, this has the first secret entrance. I think I got to that part. Yeah, I remember. I did get to that part. And the only reason why I remember is because the fuck There was the fucking Cerberus and it scared the shit out of me. <clears throat> I do remember that part now. Whoa. I... Forgot this area flashes a lot. Um, that is that. That's actually pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> I feel like you should put like a epilepsy warning for this. way. Yeah, probably experienced like 30% of the mod then. So much left out. Oof. Okay, that's the area. But I think you gotta look around here first. Probably lost souls over here. Yep. Oh, shoot. How are we getting there? Oh no, okay, I just gotta shoot it. I don't even need that. I heard a new enemy. I think I did at least. Yep, Hell Knights. Okay, where's my rocket launcher? There it is. 
Wasn't there another one of them? Yeah, here we go. Okay, so what? I'm gonna save real quick right here, and then I'm gonna put that code in. Just in case I fuck it up. Okay, three, one, two, four. Must have got right, a bunch of enemies spawned in. I'm gonna take care of these guys first. Man! I don't know how they keep doing it. But they just keep making... They just keep making the Lost Souls more and more annoying. I'm impressed. <laughs> Never bring a shotgun to a lost soul fight. Honestly, I, I I always do because I always feel like it's the most effective weapon. All right, secret secret exit. Let's go. And I still miss some of the kills apparently. Minigun I find best. Mm, okay, that makes sense actually. The vast silence reminds you of the military morgue. You knew the installation had a classified level. The UAC had some good reason to hide this place. You wonder what it could be. <laughs> no reload, that is true. That is very true. You don't have to wait for it to pump either. Alright, let's save right here. Holy shit, all three, one hit. Almost did again. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea, I knew that. Okay. Switching tactics. I figured that probably wasn't going to be the best way to handle that. There's a pain elemental, god dang it. Why do they just look like that? It's four revenants instead? Oh my god. They put the revenants back in? Bruh. <laughs> when I was playing, when I was streaming Plutonia, revenants were the bane of my fucking existence. also has the masterminds the spider mastermind too oh really okay what did that do oh did that just opened that okay a two-headed dog what <laughs> let me get back there probably gonna go this way you know he's vicious for Doom 2, Doom 64. Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah. I should probably switch to just the normal shotgun for this part. Don't need to waste any unnecessary ammo.
Wait, don't I need a red key? Probably can't go over there yet, can I? Or I probably have to go through here first, don't I? Wait, do Did I fuck it up? Cause I remember there's a red key somewhere. Or am I going the right way? I know this is where the demon key's at. In this room somewhere. But I thought I I thought there was a red key in this level. Uh uh oh. Okay, so which way was the key again? Like, I, I, I just have this feeling like I fucked something up. There's the key. I guess we could do this. Didn't explain much. Hmm. Oh, there's the yellow key. Okay. That that's that's progress. It's a little bit of progress, but it's progress. I could have sworn there was a red key though. That's why I'm kind of like, hmm. <clears throat> ah, here we go. Oh boy. What'd that do? Oh, I think I fucked it up. Get the health pack real quick. So when you go left. Damn it. I need to build up a little more speed. Hmm, okay. What always surprised me about this game are the pentagrams and the drawings of goats on the wall as if it's the devil was really in the game. It always seemed curious and scary to me, but only this version of 64. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Doom in general kind of relies a lot on, like, demonic imagery. And, I mean, to be fair, a lot of that is because of the fact that in the game... Oh, there's an easier way to go about it. <laughs> But it's because, like, in the game, right, you're fighting literally, like, the, um, you're, you're fighting literal demons from hell, so. Oh, sh You see this? I did fuck up somewhere. Unless I have to come back here. It does say I need a red key. Okay. Round two. All right. Yeah, I mean, you literally are, like, fighting um, actual demons from hell. So that's why, like, a lot of the game, like, uses a lot, like, they, that um, satanic kind of imagery. I 
Okay, so where's the where's the red key at? There's a switch right there. I'm not sure how you get to that. Oh. Well, that didn't... Did it? So I did fuck up. Because I don't think there's a red key anywhere around here. The, the yellow key was there. I think I have to restart the level. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. That's why we saved. That's why we saved right there. That's why we saved right there. Alright, let's speed run through this part. Does it appear anywhere? Something right here. Oh, shit. I can look around the whole map. That's cool. <coughs> oh, I'm wasting ammo. I need to switch. But if you look here on the map, there's something right there. Nope. Doesn't do anything. That's so weird. That locks the door. That lowers that. Is that door? No, it's still not open. What the heck? Well, then what the heck then? Okay, because this is weird. So, if you look here... So, this is the room with the Hell Knights, right? This is the room we were in at the start, where I, where I had to run around the whole thing. So, there's something... Right there. You can see it better here on this part of the map. 
So, like, right on, like, the northern sector there, there's, like, a little indentation. I think that's where the red key's at. But for some reason, I don't know how to get that. I don't know how to activate that. That's what's tripping me out. That's what's tripping me up, I think. Because I'm pretty sure the red key's actually back there. And the thing is, I just don't know how to get to it. The yellow key's down there. Wait for a bit making coffee. Alright, nice. Honestly, I wish I could have some coffee right now. But I got but I got work tomorrow, and I know if I drink coffee right now, I'm not gonna wake up. Or I'm gonna like not go to sleep tonight. Damn it. So the thing that trips me up here, um, bent, is is I've I restarted this level because I didn't get the red key because I need the red key to open the area to the um uh, to the to get to like the uh, demon key right and I'm pretty sure the red key is there in that sector in the northern part of that part where there's a little indent the only issue is I don't know how to, I don't know how to open that it's there okay. So that's what that's why I thought because it's like that's a weird th that's a weird little indent to put right there, you know. So that's what I was thinking. I was like, it has to be there, right? If I remember correctly, I just don't know how to get to it. First console to your right in the starting hallway. Okay. I I I could just. But if it's gonna be like last time, as soon as I go in here. Maybe not. Ah, okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. You remember more about this, more more about this than I do, because it, it's been a little while since I played Doom sixty four, so so I need to do this part again. This is the part that always trips me up because you have to like run to that. Actually, can you just shoot it? Nope, that's when you have to press. Oh no, I almost had it! It was so close! What am I hearing? Damn it. I have to get really right up on that edge there. Got it. All to the left on the central island you jump to? Oh, okay. Wait, actually, I think I remember how to get to... You can just go right here, yeah. And I'll open it, but then... Okay, I see. There's a wall you press down. Oh, okay. Why don't I hear a bunch of enemies? I... Hmm. 
As you jump to the first platform, press the wall on your left. Where are all these enemies? Hang on. Let me get this. Let me get this supercharge. Oh boy. Can I get that ammo real quick? Yeah. First platform. Fuck. I think it's hard to convey through text exactly what. The Unmaker. Okay, hold up. These monsters get my nerves. Freeze. <laughs> it's nice to reap the artifacts awards as soon as you get the Unmaker. Yeah. I said, those guys are really getting on my nerves. I had to take care of those guys. I also don't know how people like actually like figured this stuff out. Oh man, I was trying to get that power armor. Every magazine in the 90s came with game guides? Oh, nice. I remember reading Game Informer when I was a kid, thinking that was the coolest thing ever. Okay. That's how you get the Unmaker. That sort of just lowers that. Okay. Hmm. Hang on, let me look. I'm gonna actually like pull the guy. And for the internet was a common household thing. We use teletext, which is like text information being served through TV broadcast. Hmm, I see. Okay, let's see. that Yeah. 
You just shoot. You just got to shoot that switch again at the lift. Oh, okay. <coughs> I don't know why. I don't know why, but I was having a hard time understanding that. I don't know why. All right, which way was the switch? It was. Uh, I gotta remember which way the switch was. Now it's been. Now it's been a hot minute since I've seen the switch, and so I'm like, hmm. Not that one. Oh, probably the. Probably the secret switch again. There we go. Okay. I got it now. If I can aim it just right. Now, now you just gotta aim it right. There we go. Whew! I have a feeling that I wasn't to be touched. Oof. Yeah, it's probably like radioactive as hell. <laughs> it's got that Argent energy on it. I like the sound of that. Oh boy. Oh shit! Uh, where's the mini guy? Old bits like clocks used to be radioactive radium. It's made with the make the dial glow in the dark. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about stuff like that. And then there were the people that like painted the uh, watches. They they painted like the watches right to make the watches like glow in the dark, so so like people could see the numbers in the dark, and like those people got like super duper sick, like from because like they're literally like handling this stuff every every day right, so where does the next one enter into how do you enter into the next one let me see map 12 okay so it's gonna be a while before we get to that so we're only on level 5 All right. A little low on shotgun ammo, so let's use this for a minute. Okay, so there's probably a switch somewhere that I have to use to lower that. Not this way. What did that do? Oh, I just realized I only have like 70 health. <laughs> Which I mean to be fair, most of the time like 70 is plenty, but still. Oh, there's a guy in front of me. Okay, that 
that just lowers that. Let's get that shotgun ammo. Okay. You know, honestly, something I need to do is I need to play more um, custom Doom Wads. Um, I think I've played... Yeah, I've played a few on this... Um, I've played a few on this channel. Did I lower that? Yep. I don't know which ones I've played, uh, I've streamed before, but I think I played some Halloween themed one. I've played a lot of uh, Doomer Boards Project ones, I know that. What did that do? Hmm. Could try my house again, but with some guidance so you get the full ending. Okay. That's, a, that's an idea. Let me say it real quick. But Doom Boards Projects has a lot of good stuff too. If I remember correctly. They got they got so many different wads. Ooh, berserk. Yeah, I got enough shotgun ammo for this now. What does this do? Ah, okay. Oh! <laughs> kind of, yeah, I kind of deserved that one. I kind of just stood there on that one. the red yep all right I can't nice oh no I thought I could I guess not I misread it I I didn't see the bars coming in always let me go back through you real quick make sure I didn't miss anything There we go. Okay. That probably... Yeah, now it's actually lowered. Okay. What was one really fun custom one I played? I'm going to do something a little tricky here that I probably shouldn't do. I'm going to save real quick. Yes, at 12 health, I'm going to save. There we go. I know it's not smart, but I did it anyway. I'm gonna scavenge around for health real quick. That's a 
ammo. Just gonna take a quick walk around real quick, make sure I'm not missing any. Oh man, there was that one insane Doom mod. Man, what was it called? Hang on, I have it downloaded. It's it's bugging the hell out of me now. What was it called? Let me take a look. I have it saved. I think I have it saved in my GZ Doom folder. It's fucking insane. As soon as I see, as soon as I see, like I will know. I, I got, I, it's bugging me now. I got, I got to figure it out. Total chaos. It's called total chaos. That mod is fucking insane. I did not finish it. I did not beat it. But holy fucking shit, is it insane that that actually runs on the fucking Doom engine? Like, if you don't know what Total Chaos is, holy shit. <laughs> like, it's fucking insane. I kind of stopped playing on stream mostly because it was just kind of like... It wasn't really my kind of game for the most part. I really wasn't having too much fun with it. But even still, like, that doesn't mean it's, like, horrible or anything. Like, it's still fun. It just wasn't really for me or anything. Oh. Like, honestly, the fact that Total Chaos can run in GZ Doom is just absolutely insane to me. Like, I'm surprised people can do shit like that. But essentially what Total Chaos is, is it's a mod for GZ Doom. It essentially, like, creates essentially makes it like a giant like survival horror game pretty much a very in-depth one it's like it's not even like you're playing doom anymore really it feels like you're playing like a silent hill game or something Like, I remember, oh man, who was it that told me? I think it was Pumpkin that was telling me about it. Yeah, like, she, yeah, like she was telling me about it, and I looked it up, I'm like, how the fuck did they get that to run on the Doom engine? Alpha Quadrant. Like, it's like a true, like, total conversion. Complete total conversion. I have 35 health. Pick up the health. There's a big, there's a big health pack. Zerk, yep. Oh shit, that's a... 
That's a fuck ton of dudes right there. Oh my god. Let's try and get all these rockets. Oh, I have to find some way to lower that. Okay. Oh, there, there was another thing I want to talk about, too. I completely forgot about this. Honestly, because I was more concerned with getting Doom... Si I was more concerned with, like, getting Doom 64 up and running and everything. A lot of Doom mods use clever trickery. Use of silent, silent portals, etc. Oh, yeah. But, no, like... This game legit looks like it uses, like... Like, Total Chaos looks like it legit uses, like... 3D models and shit. Like, I, I... I don't know how you would even do that. But to be fair, like you said, it could just be like Trevor... Cl Trevor... Trevor Clickery, yes. Clever Trickery. Oh, boy. Wait, did you see that? That looked like a secret. Hold up. Oh, it is. Oh, shit. Nice. Okay. So that's how you get that. All right. Now I know. Voxel sprites? Voxel sprites. No, I don't think they're sprites at all. Like, I mean, like, they actually look like... Legit, like, models. Like, if you, like, Google... Total Chaos, like Doom, Doom Mod, like you'll see, you'll see what I mean, like it's, it looks insane. Got it, let's go. Get the yellow key here. I've made a lot of progress, so let me save real quick. Wait a minute. Okay. I was like, how do we get out of here? Oh god, how do we get out of here? Here we go. Let me use my rocket one for this. Yeah, I still have Total Chaos uh, on my PC. I just haven't really played it ever since because it... It honestly is, like, a legitimately, like, very difficult, like... Honestly, at this point, I hesitate to call it Doom. Uh, it's just like a game, at, a separate game at this point. Hmm, I forgot about that. So we gotta find a way to lower that. Whoa. Maybe we have to hit that. Take a look. No. Okay. In that case, more than likely I'm missing something. Probably that fucking switch right there. <laughs> Oh, 
There's a bear. That's an actual bear. myself. Oh, I miss. I missed a guy. Elemental. I think I remember this part. This part's a little weird. Honestly, I wonder how they did most of this stuff. behind here again? Armor. Okay. What separates Doom 64 from Doom 1 and 2 is the environment is actually 3D poly, 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 polygonic walls, but the engine is still 2D while using, while 3D the game doesn't calculate a Z depth. Okay, that's why the textures look so much de detail on the walls. Okay, all right, nice. I mean, I think I, I think I remember reading somewhere that the classic Doom games, like Doom One and Two, are actually like 2D, but they just use some like clever trickery to like make make it look like it's actually like 3D. I think the same thing goes for Wolfenstein 3D. It looks 3D, but it's actually not 3D. Because lying textures on the on the walls in Doom 1 and 2 have terrible differing. That is true. That is true. I do I did notice that. Doom 1 and 2 is poorly 2D. It draws everything in 2D and flips the image vertical so it looks like you're facing it oh okay all right literally like some clever clever game fuckery i wonder how id thought of that well, well, then again, I mean, to be fair, technically not even Wolfenstein was the first first-person shooter, technically, so... 
I guess they probably had some basis on how to do it. That just led me in a big circle. What did both of those switches do? Oh, shit. I don't know why I didn't expect a Hell Knight. Honestly, I should have. There's a switch up there. Ooh, plasma gun. Honestly, I've kind of always liked how the plasma gun looks in Doom 64. It looks really good for some reason. I don't know why. Like, it, it looks super different, but at the same time, it looks good. That's like a good kind of different. redundant once you've got the unmaker though it's a waste of ammo that is true oh really okay i didn't know the exact how much like damage it how much more damage it did okay let me save right here i'm thinking about it can't go through here yet I can't flip those switches yet because I bet they need the uh they need the red key, okay. So, yeah. Zombies have a 50% chance of being give with the unmaker, they never give with the plasma. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I see. Yellow key's this way. Oh, so I almost didn't stream today. I almost did not stream tonight. Because, um... So basically... I take my car to the shop, right? There was, um... Well, one, I need an oil change. Which I really need to learn how to do by myself. But... There was also, like, some, like, it said, like, my tires needed maintenance or something, like, because my car's got, like, a little panel on it that would be, like, hey, like, this is, like, this needs maintenance or something, so I was, like, okay, I guess I should probably take it to the, uh, I guess I should probably take it to the shop real quick, see if there's, or just mention it while I'm getting my oil changed, like, hey, you know, this is going on with it, and I guess it's something to do with, like, there was something weird with the sensors or something. And I would need to, like, get the sensors replaced. I don't know. But anyway, so the reason why, like, it would have... I almost didn't stream. Is because I got there. And they knew, like... I told them, like, before, like, because they asked me. Like, when I made the appointment, they are like, Oh, hey, so are you going to, like, stay in the building, you know? Or is someone going to come and pick you up? And I was like, I'm going to stay in the building, you know, because I usually don't have anyone to pick me up. So I told them that. This is important. So I get there today. And I... And I drop off the car. And they're like, okay. 
So we had like, so we had like two or three people call in today. Um, so we're probably not gonna be able to get to your car until mid afternoon. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> at, at, at that moment, I, I just kind of was like, well, shit. <laughs> Because I hadn't planned for that. I didn't know like it was going to be like several hours before they got to my car. So I was literally stranded in town for a lot. So I was going to be like stranded in town all day. Or at least I thought it was going to. Until like I decided to take a chance. And I decided to like call uh, my best friend who I keep mentioning. Um, so I called him. And he was like. And thankfully he actually answered. And I was like. Hey, bro. Like, look. Like, I just dropped my car off, and they said it was going to be all day, and I didn't intend for this to happen. So, like, I can you come pick me up? Like, I'll, I'll buy gas and shit for you, man. Like, I need out of here. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, yeah, bud. You know, no, don't worry about it. You know, you're good. You know. I'll come get you. He, so, yeah, he, he saved my ass. I feel like I was here. So he saved my ass, and he, and he also like took me back to the place to um, pick up my car too. So yeah, it all honestly kind of worked out in the end there. I actually managed to stream tonight, but I honestly like for a little while there, it was looking like, man, am I gonna be able to have someone like take me back to get my car? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it was kind of just like, mm, I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, what the fuck? I see some horrors on the well-beings of cars in America on YouTube. The laws there are too relaxed. Yeah, you know what? They really are. At first, I was like, wait, are they? And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, they kind of are. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like... They actually did find, like, a few things wrong with my car. They actually did find a few things wrong with it. It was, Most of it's just, like, one thing... <laughs> so, there's this thing my car does, where for some reason, like, I can't control the fan speed, really. Or you can, but it's, like, very hard. There's a knob that controls it, and it's, it's weird. And, like, when they, like, show me the report, they're, like... They're, like, this is urgent. And I'm just sitting there, like... No the fuck, it's not. It's the fan speed. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Oh man, what was the other thing? Um, I'll need to get my tires replaced soon. That's always great. Tires are expensive. In UK, we got to have a MOT test to inspect the vehicle to make sure it's safe and road compliant. If not, you cannot drive it. Okay. Done every got to have it done every twelve months. Okay. Yeah. See, we don't we don't have that. <laughs> But at the same time, that's also kind of why I like taking my car to the shop to get an oil change. Even though I know it's cheaper to do it myself. Like, they actually, like, check to see if, like, anything needs fixed. And usually, like, it, it's, like, a good warning for me. Like, oh, yeah, I need to start thinking about, like, getting this stuff fixed or something. You know what I mean? So as much as I hate it, as much as I have to, like, pay money to go get my oil, oil change. Like, still, it's like, you know what? At least they're checking it. Yeah, I think I see any gasket problems by oil change. Right. Yeah, that's true. Final outpost. Okay. Save real quick. I have a weird feeling like if I did my own oil change, like, I would never notice anything wrong because I don't know jack shit about cars. I literally don't know anything about cars. All I know is I step inside, I turn the ignition... And, uh, I step inside, turn the ignition, and it goes vroom. Oops. That's all I know. I, I step inside, turn the ignition, it goes vroom, vroom. Let's go this way this time. Ah, good choice. I was helping her. I was right from that time. 
oil cap is milky. We have to learn how to change water and oil and wheels before we can drive. I fucking wish we had to learn that. What the fuck? Because, bro, like, I didn't have to learn that to, to, like, be able to drive. What the fuck? No, like, I went to driver's ed and it was just like, okay, um, here's how you turn the car on. Here's what all these different signs mean. And, uh, you're all set to go. All right. All right, kid, let's get you in the back. Let's get you, like, in the front seat of a vehicle here and let's get you on the road. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, to be fair, they do supervise you. And driver's ed vehicles do have a brake on the other side. So, like, literally, like, they can just, like... So, like, if anything's going on, they can also brake. Just in case, you know. Driving test in America is a piece of piss. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the most advanced thing you gotta do in a driver's test in America is parallel park. Which I barely ever do anyway, just because I don't like doing it. So. Alright, let's go and save real quick. UK Cars has clutch and brake pedal on the passenger side because most cars are manual still. Oh man, I don't even know how to drive a manual. I also don't even know how to drive a manual. I don't know how to drive a stick shift. All my cars have been automatic. Honestly, bro, like, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like if... I feel like what would happen in America if people try to, like, um... If people try to standardize putting like brake pedals on the passenger side here in America, they would there would be people probably sitting there like, "No, you can't do that because then what what if you're on the highway and like the other passenger decides to be a dick and just push down on the pedal and they that that's all they would do. That's all that's all people would com would complain about. Like that's that's the only argument there would be for like not doing that. <laughs> There's a stigma in Europe that if you cannot drive a manual, it's embarrassing. I think it's a racer skill flex. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's a lot of dudes. God, I just took a fuck ton of damage there. But honestly, here in America, it's pretty... It's pretty common for people to not drive a stick shift. Not that cars don't come with it. Even automatic cars have it. It's just that most people just don't like using it. Because most... Probably because most people don't know how to do it. I mean, to be fair, myself included, I don't know how to drive a manual at all. So I got the red key. What does that do? Did that open something? That sounds like it is opening something. It's because automatics were never as efficient. They're a lot be better now these days. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That's not doing it. Okay. Popularity is rising. Okay. <coughs> Bingo, there we go.
Oh shit. Hold up. I just got a bad feeling. I just got a really bad feeling about that. Ooh, I didn't like that. Hmm. Why ain't that interesting? But I, I honestly, I wish we had to learn how to do shit like that in the U.S. Like, learn how to like drive a stick shift, learn how to like change your oil and stuff. I fucking wish we had learned how to do that stuff. But now, if you want to learn that, you gotta take an auto shop class. And those are all like, those are all like voluntary classes. Like, you don't have to take those. That's something you take if you have like a free credit or something. Or like you need a credit. You can use on anything. Or if you actually like want to like go into like auto repair as a job. Which not gonna lie, kind of thought about it. Kind of thought about it before. It don't hurt to learn some basic life skills, such as basic plumbing and electronics and car maintenance. You see, I kind of know basic, like, maintenance stuff. Like, I actually, believe it or not, one thing that school actually, actually did teach me is school actually, like, fucking taught me how to, like, um, wire an outlet. Like, I know how to wire an outlet. <laughs> I know how to pour concrete. School taught me that stuff. You cackle as the familiarity of your situation occurs to you. The gateway to the demon's domain was too accessible. You realize the demons mocked you with their invitation. It does not matter. The demons spawn like rats, and you have the grade triple A UAC poison they crave. Your bloodthirsty scream sh shatters the teleport haze. Once again, you find yourself amidst... We got to learn that in school age 12. What the fuck? I learned that when I was like 15. What the? <laughs> How to wire a plug in UK, UK plus have three wires and a fuse so it's more complex. Mm, okay. Yeah, I know different countries use like different outlets and stuff. Oh, Mancubus. I got the Mancubi now. Woo! One. Oh, shit. We're gonna have to circle strafe on this. Let's get the rockets out. Since we're grouped together like that. Let me look around for some ammo real quick. Shotgun shells. Nice. Oh boy. 
Oh shit! Okay. Up. Oh, there's traps here. Come over here. Get the help. Ooh. Okay. Oh fuck! They got me. I I I I I I hit myself with the rocket launcher. <laughs> yeah, I deserve that one. I hit myself with the rocket launcher. Oh, I forgot I had the plasma rifle. I can use that. Alright, since that injured me, get that supercharged real quick. Let's see if we can get the Hell Knights grouped together again. Is all the Kaka demons? I think it is. Oh no, it's not. There's still there's still another one somewhere. You know what? That actually that's actually fine. And nope. Oh, okay, there it is. It's a hell knight. Where's the Unmaker at? Because I picked it up earlier, right? Oh no, when I restarted the level, that's right. When I restarted the level- Oh no, there it is. It's right there, I got it. Okay, so I know what, but what button it is now, alright. I don't want to use it right now. Alright. Oh, invulnerability! Well, I don't need to use that anymore. I can focus on these pain elementals now. Because they're going to be a problem. Right, I think that's all the pain elementals. Yes, invulnerable indeed. Yeah, that invulnerability really actually like came in clutch there. Because pain elementals in any Doom game they exist, they're the bane. They're the bane of my gameplay there. Like, because they can just, especially in the classic ones, the pain elementals just sit there and they just spawn lost souls like it's no tomorrow. So if you don't take them out, especially if there's a lot of them, that can cause the map to get really polluted with them. So you're kind of forced to... They're kind of, they kind of like take priority. They always get the rockets out when, when it involves splash damage maximum. That's true. Yeah, I forgot about that. You can do that too. Alright, how many... Alright, we still have quite a few of them. I'm gonna get these rockets. Are they behind me? Yep.
All right, I think I beat that level. Let me run around real quick. And I know this area's trapped, so I'll just I'll hurry up. I just want to get some ammo real quick. I don't need a shotgun ammo. So we can ignore that. I do need that. No, I don't. <laughs> I thought I did, but no, maybe I don't. I think I might have picked up up there something. Yeah, I think I might have picked up all the ammo here. Okay. So how far did we make it? I think this that was only like level like let's see what level are we on now? We're on level 10 now, okay. Alright, perfect. Alright, so it's been like two hours. So I think this will be a good place to call it quits. Let me get my Yeah, get the get the get the nice pleasant music going after all after like the slow droning of like the of the Doom 64 soundtrack. Which, I actually really like the Doom 64 soundtrack. I really do. For some... Like, I'm not sure, like, what it is. Like, I think it's because it reminds me a lot of the Quake soundtrack. Which, I mean... The Quake soundtrack was done by Nine Inch Nails. So, I think it's great. And I think it's pretty good. Oh! Um... Edwin. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming to Malphite. Okay. So who's streaming tonight that we can raid? Quake 64 was done by the same composer as Doom 64. There's a Quake 64? Is Quake 64 like just like an actual port though? Okay, Quake 64 was actually just like a port. But it looks different. Okay. Yeah, I got some... I'm, I'm looking at some pictures right now. I, it, it does look a little different, I guess. Okay, it looks very different. Look, yeah, okay, I see. <coughs> and the same composer for the Doom 64... For Doom 64 did... Okay. Interesting. Okay. Quake 264 looks more colorful. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Now, who should we raid tonight? Mm. I see Pumpkin streaming. But I think I raided her recently. Oh, yeah. She's away from stream right now, too. Yeah, it looks like she stepped away, away for a sec. So, let's see who else is online. I'm off. Have fun. All right. See you later, Bob. And thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um. Who's this? I don't remember who this is. Okay. I I, I think I remember who this is. I don't I don't remember I don't remember following them though. That's what's weird. I don't remember following them. Tuck's also streaming. I like Tuck. Tuck's pretty cool. Tuck's actually streaming Counter- You know what? Let's go raid Tuck tonight. Let's go raid Tuck tonight. He's he's streaming Counter-Strike. He's streaming Counter-Strike. So we're gonna go raid Tuck tonight. Alright. So go give Tuck a lot of love. And before we end off, I'm gonna go look at the schedule I posted on my Twitter real quick. And we're gonna see what we got. Um, tomorrow we're continuing Half-Life 2, so that's the plan there. And then Wednesday I don't have a stream plan, so I think I'll use that as a break day. Alright, so tomorrow Half-Life 2, if you want to watch that. Um, thank you everybody for tuning in tonight. I actually learned quite a bit about um, the limits of my PC, actually, like with or like how like poor of a port Doom 64 for the PC is. Um, and I also learned a lot about cars, which I did not know about. Or car laws in, like, different countries. All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, have a good one.